The information included in this video was found on bannedbooks.world.edu and from the novel itself on pages 85 through pages 86. The Great Galaxy by F. Scott Fitzgerald was first released in 1925 and today can be found as a banned book. Many people do not like the fact that the book took place during the 1920s Prohibition era. It is argued that because of the book's bad language and sexual references, that this book should be banned. She turned her head as there was a light, dignified knocking at the front door. I went out and opened it. Gatsby, pale as death, with his hands plunged like weights in his coat pockets, was standing in a puddle of water, glaring tragically in my eyes. With his hands still in his coat pockets, he stalked me by me into the hallway, turned sharply as if he were on a wire, and disappeared into the living room. It wasn't a bit funny. Aware of the loud beating of my own heart, I pulled the door to against the increasing rain. For half a minute, there wasn't a sound. Then, from the living room, I heard a sort of choking murmur and part of a laugh, followed by Daisy's voice on a clear, artificial note. I certainly am gl awfully glad to see you again. A pause. It endured horribly. I had nothing to do in the hall, so I went into the room. Gatsby, his hands still in his pockets, was reclining against the mantelpiece in a strained counterfeit of perfect ease, even of boredom. His head leaned back so far that it rested against the face of a defunct mantelpiece clock, and from this position his distraught eyes stared down at Daisy, who was sitting, frightened but graceful, on the edge of a stiff chair. "'We've met before,' muttered Gatsby. His eyes glanced momentarily at me, and his lips parted with an abortive attempt at a laugh. Luckily, the clock took this moment to tilt, dangerously at the pressure of his head, whereupon he turned and caught it with the trembling fingers and set it back in place. Then he sat down rigidly, his elbow on the arm of the sofa and his chin in his hand. I'm sorry about the clock, he said. My own face had now assumed a deep tropical burn. I couldn't muster up a single commonplace out of a thousand in my head. It's an old clock, I told him idiotically. I think we all believed for a moment that it had smashed in pieces on the floor. We haven't met for many years, said Daisy, her voice as a matter of fact as it could be. Five years next November.